I'm Justin Lillicrat reporting for UQ in Indonesia. Today the Jakarta governor elections were being contested between Ahok and Anis. It is expected to be a close race amid the religious differences between the two candidates. We spoke to the Jakarta voters after casting their ballot. Stella and Attila are university students who believe Ahok has improved the city of Jakarta in his time as governor. So I'm leaning more to this, our former governor, because from what I see, his work is really good. Like the traffic in Jakarta is getting better. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm also leaning towards voting for uh, the second candidate because of the work he's done so far. Um, he, yeah, as Stella as said, he has managed to like reduce floods. He transformed an area that was once for that was once uh, for prostitution to like a recreational park. Uh, no one has ever had has the guts to touch that place, like to close that place. He is the only one that has the guts to, but that's why I love him so much. Despite 75% of Jakartans saying they are satisfied with Ahok's performance, many locals are voting for Anis due to religion. My name is Hidayat. Anis Sandi. He is a good Muslim. He is Muslim and he is kind. Leaders must not uh, corrupt. My name is Marzuki Ajas. It's supposed to be a secret, but because it's uh, now done, uh, I can tell you that I voted for number three. In overall, there seems to be a little bit of tension because it's a vote uh, between Muslim and non-Muslim. But uh, um, afterwards, I see that it's been quite a peaceful election. Sovi, a local Jakartan working for the University of Queensland, says the atmosphere is one of excitement across the city. It, excitement, um, tense uh, at the same time, but um, uh, I think, I think uh, uh, times like this should be an exciting one because uh, um, it, it affects the life of all uh, um, Jakartans. Uh, capital of Indonesia, so it in some ways it uh, affects the nation as well. It has been uh, because uh, people from all over the country um, has been putting so much attention to uh, this. There were high turnouts at polling booths across the city. There was a sense of tension and excitement around Jakarta. There were no significant protests even as the quick count results came through. It became clear Anissa's campaign targeting the religious differences of the candidates had been successful. The quick count has Anissa with 57% of the, of the vote to Ahok's 43%. The official result will be announced in early May. After a divisive campaign, the peaceful elections show Indonesia's democracy is strong despite the narrow focus of the campaigns.